Here's seven repairs and adjustments you need to know how to do for your bra. I'm going to show you the simplest methods so even a very beginner can do it. Let's start with needing to bring the cups together. Here we can see the gapping that sometimes happens um, if the cup is rotated a little too far out and you need to bring the cups together a little bit and rotate them in. So the way you're going to do this is with a very simple stitch. It's called a ladder stitch and I'm going to show you how to do it with several of these adjustments and alterations in this video. Keep in mind I'm a professional bridal sewist but I'm here to make learning to sew easy for you. So here we are just punching this through I'm using doubled up thread nice and strong obviously you're gonna always want to match your thread as best you can it will look better I've used this color thread for contrast but what you're gonna do is you're gonna be working your way down on the back side but across the front you're gonna be going straight across and these nice parallel stitches and it's gonna be a little wider at the top than the stitches are toward the bottom. Now you give it a tug and it does this magical little thing where it pulls these two little clamshells together. Then you're gonna knot it off nice and strong and everything is gonna be tipped inwardly and it's gonna bring the top of that cup in a little bit closer to your bodice. Now, I do have a more detailed video on this. If you're interested, I'm gonna drop that in the video description, and that's gonna show you another way to bring this in when a bodice is standing out in the front. But look how flush that is now. Very, very nice. All right, so let's move on to the second adjustment that we're gonna do. This is when you have those little adjusting, the little slider adjusters. When you have them, that they just keep on sliding. Like you want them to slide to the right size and then you want them to stay still, right? So basically what you wanna do is you wanna get those adjusters in just the right place, something that's comfortable for you. Take off the bra and then you're gonna put in at least three good strong stitches back and forth right below the slider so that it doesn't have very much wiggle room there. You're going to knot it off nice and strong and this is going to give you a flush pretty little stitch and that's going to solve that problem for you pretty much forever. Isn't that wonderful? So if you do need to adjust in the future, you're going to snip that stitch free, adjust the sliders again for your current size, and then put the stitch in again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so for the next one, remember we are on number three out of seven. Ah, don't you hate this? The underwire is sticking out and it's stabbing you. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. So there's an easy fix for this as well. I have uh, planned this out to where they're all easy fixes. But what I'm going to do is root my knot in here nice and strong on the edge and then I'm going to take this underwire and I'm gonna wiggle it on down deep inside that cup there we go and I'm gonna stitch back and forth I'm gonna form some X's so my first stitches are going to be going kind of like the bottom stitch is going to go up and to the right there you go so the next one is going to do the same from the bottom I'm going to go up and to the right and then I'm going to go back up into the right so I have several stitches that are kind of at like a 45 degree angle now I'm going to drop down and I'm going to go up into the left and that is going to form our X and we're going to do that at least three times as well. You can do it three or four times if you like to make your way across and this is sealing off that hole that the underwire formed in that little channel.
Here's our fourth one, and it's also our knot. Now what's really gonna serve you well is if you go through with maybe some E6000, I'm just gesturing, we're pretending, okay? E6000 over that stitch if you don't have any type of allergy to that, of course, and that's gonna help a lot. Now what if you have gapping underneath the cup? Oh no, the cup size is just maybe a size too big. This is also very easy and pretty seamless as well. So we're going to do our friend the ladder stitch again from the bottom of the underwire working up, all right? But we're actually gonna stitch from the outside facing out again, just like we did before. Good secure knot here. And we're gonna go back and forth. Now this time the stitches are not gonna be all the same size again. The widest ones are gonna be on the outside and then they're going to work their way toward the bottom of the cup. This is gonna be kind of in the shape of a pie. There, you can really see them there, how we're going back and forth. Each one's getting a little smaller as it approaches the bottom of the cup. So then when we get to the bottom, we're gonna do our magic little pull again. It's so much fun, so satisfying, but you're gonna kinda give it a little push inside of those ladder stitches to make sure that they fold in and lay real nicely you kind of have to do like a little coaxing with your fingers it's not a big deal it's very natural you'll see what i'm talking about and on the back side this is what your stitches look like by the way it's that pie shape again and if you want this to show even less just do your stitches more close together and of course with matching thread so you give it that pull schmooze it a little bit and then look on the inside. Looks like a wobbly little worm. Again, it'll be less wobbly if you do more stitches. You can make them closer together, neater, and with matching thread. I'm just doing all that for instructional reasons. But look, it looks really great. So even if you are, you know, coming in hot with a kindergarten grade <laughs> hand stitches, it is fine. It did the job. So that's awesome. Number five, what if your bra is too tight? Well, let me tell you, you can pick these up at Walmart or Amazon, only a couple bucks usually. Obviously prices vary, but this is gonna be your best friend. Let me show you the details because they do come in different sizes. This is the size that I picked and it's the one that's got the corresponding with the two hooks and loops um, because some of them are three or four wide. So this one fits. And you can see me putting it together here. Problem solved. Number six, the opposite problem. What if the bra is a little bit too loose? It's too big. We're gonna work on it here, right on the side of the band where it meets the cup. Again, our friend, the ladder stitch, is coming in clutch. This time, it's not going to be pie-shaped. It's just going to be back and forth, just like railroad tracks. So again, you're gonna be moving along on the back side, but on the outside is where you're gonna have these neat little parallel stitches going up the side of the band. Make sure you put a stitch um, toward the very edge in the elastic area for sure, um, for the top and the bottom elastic areas. Those are gonna be good anchor points when you're dealing with a bra in the stretchy areas. You don't really ever wanna stitch too much in just the stretchy fabric. You wanna go through making sure you hit the elastic. You can see how it's a little bit tougher to make it through right there. That's gonna give us the strength we need. And we're gonna give that little magic tug and it's gonna want to kind of sh smock up a little bit here and shrink up a little bit. We're not gonna let it do that. We're gonna tug it hard enough to make it flush, 
but not enough to bunch it. And then we're gonna do this stitch on both the top and the bottom part of the band where we kind of really lock it together. That uh, half inch total that we needed to take it in. Knot that off really well. And let's check it out on the dress form. Looking good. Again, those chunky kindergarten stitches and it's looking great. So you can go forward with confidence even if your stitch quality is not all that great yet. It's gonna be all right. So number seven, the slipping shoulder. Ugh, don't you hate this? <laughs> a bra that keeps doing this. All right, it's because they're meeting in the back a little bit wide for how you would like to wear it. It would do better if it came in a little more towards center. I'm gonna show you two ways to fix this, okay? What if it's just a temporary problem where your strap is showing in the back and you need more of a racer back? Just come in here with a sheer, small little ribbon that doesn't have a lot of body and tie it in a bow and you've got yourself a little temporary racer back. So you'd wanna double knot that bow so it doesn't come undone. But isn't that a handy little tip? Now, the next way that you're truly gonna fix this on a bra so you don't have to deal with it again is you're gonna come in and actually snip where the elastic is meeting in the back. And this is a little neater when you don't have those little peaks in the back when it's kind of a level back, but we're gonna make it work, right? So I'm pinning the way that we want this angled. I'm just kind of tucking that little peak in. You can sew that down flush on the inside. You're gonna do it to both straps and make sure just carefully try it on obviously um, and make sure that you've got the angles right and it's going to be comfortable for you then you're going to go in this is the type of stitch you're going to do it's going to take three very secure stitches that's all it's going to take so you're going to do a stitch on the outer part that goes through the strap plus that elastic edge and you're gonna do a stitch in the middle that's holding all of your layers together. And then finally, you're going to do a stitch on the inside that holds the layers together. Please tap subscribe. If everyone who watched this video and gained a little tippy tip tip, everyone who watched it would tap subscribe, a couple things would happen. It would mean a world of difference to me. I would be forever grateful and it costs you nothing. The other thing is it's going to help you to not lose track of me. So hit subscribe. I'm a pro bridal sewist who makes learning to sew easy. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.